Hello everyone, my name is Joshua. I'll be solving bit day six, bitwise operators. What are the 10 days of JavaScript questions? Let's begin. Initial reaction, guys. This is not what all pra programming is about, in my experience of being an engineer. We don't work with like a bunch of bitwise operators. I don't know why this question is in here. So we define this as to be a sequence of distinct sequential integers from one to n, okay? And we want to know the maximum bitwise and value of any true integers a and b, where a is less than b, and sequence s. Huh, that is also less than a given integer k. This is the question that probably separate the big kids from the little kids. Complete the function in the editor so that given an n and a k value that returns the maximum a and b is less than k. Here's what's happening. You're given this number five and then you're given a number two. Now, if you go from this, if you define a sequence, like we, we define sequence after we're given this number from one to five. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five. And then now we define any two pairs of values. And when we do a bitwise operation with the ampersand symbol, we want to make sure that that value is less than the given k bitwise value. Now you might be wondering, what the hell do you mean by a bitwise operator? Don't go too fast. So here's where we go. So here's a resource given to us from HackerRank, bitwise operators in JavaScript. Let's go in here. And holy cow, you are confused. But here's what the only takeaway you have to know for this question. Okay, so we're given a number 71. And then a bitwise, in the binary version, it's going to be a bunch of ones and zeros. And it'll look like this whole number right here, 1, 1, 71 is going to look like 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Now, if we do this and operation, like what this question is asking right here, and operation, if we compare two numbers that are in their binary forms, like this right here, we're going to get a final value based on like whether they both have that same binary representation. So it's going to be 1, 0, 0, because as you see from this table, that's what the values that they share on both. So one is true, zero is false. It's going to look like this. Don't worry, in JavaScript, we can handle this in like three characters, basically. I'll walk you through it. Um, so after we do that operation, we, we compare that binary number with the binary number given to us from the K. So let's go right here. I'm going to go ahead and as I saw this question, it's going to make more sense. Oh, worse, they didn't even give us a function template. Wow. <laughs> All right, so if you don't know what function to create right here, here's how you basically do that. I think they want us to create a function called get max less than k. So I, so now I know the name of the function because I, I hit this secret drop down that they hid from all of us just to make things complicated even more. Two, parameter, two parameters, n and k. So we need to find a max value. Let's we'll just say max is equal to zero for now. Since we're going to find two numbers within a sequence, defined from one through n. The first for loop that I'm going to create right here is we're going to iterate through each number between one through n. Hmm, a is equal to n. That's where it's going to start. Then it's going to iterate to a is greater than one. Yeah, I think that's, we'll do that for now. And we'll, we'll have the lowest value for b to be equal to one, I think. That'll be a good stopping point. a minus minus. Now the second for loop, we're going to look for its partner. So it's going to be b is equal to a minus 1. So b is going to be always less than whatever that a value is because we can have two of the same number. And b is going to be greater than 0 and b minus minus because b can be up to the value of 1. Now, so here's how you do a bitwise operation, a and b. So right now what this thing is doing right here is it's going to return a value based on like it's executing this table right here and then whatever values it's shared it will return that final value from this expression so you don't have to think too hard about this this is not like a common thing in programming for, for my knowledge if this a and b it has to be less than that k value and I'll put a second condition if a and b is greater than the max value now we want that max value to equal a and b that's that simple, and re we return the maximum value. We run this through. Awesome. We submit the code. Hey, that's pretty good. Sweet. I think it's passed. Let's go and summarize. 
we want to find the maximum value that if we take numbers from 1 through n, distinct numbers from 1 through n, uh, we define true numbers that what the largest pairing of them that has to be less than the k value. And when we perform this a and b operation, it's basically doing this table right here, but we don't have to put too much thought into it. Basically, we have to find the biggest number that if we perform this bitwise and operation, it's going to equal that final value. Uh, but see, don't, this is not emblematic of all programming, all right? Hopefully this makes sense to you. If not, I'll try my best to explain this. And I'll always add that tagline, this is not what programming is about. Hacker rank, you ruined JavaScript for everybody with this question. How dare you? <laughs> just, just kidding. See you guys.